you know, back home pivot tech tree of choices here. Um, we're exploring the different ways that a pivot can be executed. We're looking at different, different options. So one option we're coming up with right now is one that would appear to take two different spools, two valves, two valve spools, and that would be this configuration here. So this is the pivot. These are longer just for fun, but this is the main pivot. What we're doing is if we mount a cylinder between these two, another here, and this cylinder here can push it, pull it this way, no problem. 90 degrees to one side, then it goes back. This other cylinder will pull it 90 degrees to this side, no problem. Great, 180 degree of rotation. Now what's the trouble with that? If, if you're pulling on one, like, can we do it with one valve? We know we can do it by pulling on this and then separately pulling on that while the other one is let go. Can one valve do it? If we're pulling on that, that one is pushing. No, in that case, that one is also pulling because that's actually getting shorter. So this one's pulling and this one's pulling. But in a configuration where you're extending, like say, extend here, this one's pushing and this one's pulling. So in one case they both pull and in another case one pulls and one pushes. That doesn't physically work. That's a physical impossibility. So this, for here, for this configuration you would need two separate cylinders. Now in this case here, so let's mount the cylinders here so they're like between these two points. And actually mount them to a closer point like right here. So say you go between these two points, you're pulling on that, that pin here, uh, while that one's pushing, and here if you're pushing on that one, that one's pulling. So everywhere in this configuration, this wider one, when one pulls, the other pushes. So that's doable with one valve. So we're just exploring these different configurations to see what a physical possibility would look like. So right now we're narrowing between these two, which are more tight, appear more fabricable, appear to be better. Uh, because when you're out here, it se seems awkward, so this, this wide separation. So let's see where we can go from there. But that's basically we're exploring the different positions where we can mount the cylinders. We're, we're narrowing down to an answer which would allow us to get 180 degree of, t of turn. Now in the first case where we had the narrow narrow case, you can easily get to 90 in each direction or 180 total. In a, in a wide one, there's a little problem. You can't get to 180 because when you're pulling on this one, you can only pull it so far as it will not go through the center of the pivot. Otherwise, um, you can't extend beyond that or otherwise it would be an impossibility. So. Um, and then to this side, you can't really go exactly to 180, but you can go to, to a tiny bit before 180, like maybe 160 degrees, so like 80 degrees to one side. So I think we might, um, might try that. So we'll see both options evaluated from here. Thanks.